guys, let me tell you. I don't know if you guys remember, with my boy Bradley behind the camera. I got a little afraid about a snake. Here. Oh, look at, look at. oh no. Oh. What if I just said he's sitting right behind me on top of this thing? I don't know if you guys see him in the background. Come here real quick. He's literally sitting on top of this. Look at that. You wanna get up close? Look at that freaking nasty thing, bro. What kind of snake is that? You guys leave your comments down below. I don't know. Dude, that's a nasty thick boy, bro. Oh no. That's him too. I am not about that. Well, today we're back with another video. We're gonna be trying to smack some big bass. Uh, you guys enjoyed the last one where we went out with the clouts and we just absolutely destroyed them. In today's video, we're gonna be fishing big jigs. Bro, I just don't like that man sitting there. He's just kind of chilling. I, I don't know how I feel about it. But anyways, we're gonna try to catch him. Bradley, what do you got in your pocket that you can hand me right now? You got some sauce somewhere in your pocket. Okay. Yeah. You want all three of them? Yeah, yeah. The juice. So guys, we got some of the new Six Sense finesse jigs right here. This one's actually in green pumpkin blue right there, looking beautiful. This one right here is actually in black and blue. This one's in black and blue as well. We're gonna be fishing with some of these. I'm actually starting off with a hybrid jig today. Um, I just could already have it tied on. And then uh, later in the day, we're gonna switch to a finesse jig. We got a storm roll. Oh no, Bo, oh no, Bo, oh no, Bo. Oh, he just fell. He's going behind the house. Oh no, man. I don't know about that one. But we're gonna try to catch some big fish, not snakes. We ain't gonna mess with snakes today. But it's gonna be an interesting one. You guys better hit that subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel. Hit the like button, hit the notification bell, and let's go ahead and get it started. I got it. Come here, real quick, actually. I got a hybrid jig right there, and I actually have a stroker crawl on the end of it. I broke it down a little bit so it's a little bit smaller. Um, I was out of these black and blue stroker crawls. I think I have them in my boat, but I brought out some. Uh, green pumpkin blue prawns right here, which I think it ended up being good. So we're gonna go ahead and get this started, flip this thing around. There's usually some beds up on this bank that we found last time when me and Bradley came out here. But let's go ahead and get this thing rolling. Let's catch a big fish. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let's go. All right, guys, watch this. Come here real quick. So there's a bunch of fish that were bedding up on this bank right here. The water's very murky. It's actually a storm's about to roll in right now, but we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip this hybrid jig up there and see if there's big ones thank you brother but yeah we're gonna we're gonna pitch this jig up on the bank see if we can catch some i'm hoping there's gonna be a big female up there it might be some males but let's go ahead and get it started hopefully we don't catch a snake that's not the plan today but the biggest plan or the biggest the biggest thing that we're gonna do with this jig is we're gonna pitch it up there we're not even gonna move it that's so important this time of year so we're gonna just pitch it up there let her hit the bank. Literally just let her sit. That bite has been so soft, let me tell you. So they kind of pick it up and they just start walking with it. Oh, did you see that? Is that your fishing line? No? All right, one more skip up under there. There we go. Now we're talking. That's a good cast. If she's there. She should eat it. Oh, no. These fish might be roaming a little bit more today. The conditions, there's a bunch of clouds out today. We got a storm rolling in in about an hour and a half. So we're going to start covering some water. Bradley actually has a buzz bait on right here. I think this might be some sauce today. We got the wind. was picked up a lot, and now it's kind of slowed down a little bit. But with this cloud cover today, these fish might be roaming a little bit more. But we're gonna keep on covering water now. You guys just stay tuned. We're gonna catch a big one. Oh yeah, there he is. There we go. First fish of the day on the jig. Boom, let's go. He ain't that big. He ain't a bad one, what's up? He just, I'm gonna let him flop in the water. Oh, there's a little, 
caffeine shad. I'm gonna put that in my pocket. Don't litter, guys. Don't do that. Do not do that. Freaking, he hammered it one hard time and started running with it. There's gotta be a female up there. That is good, first fish today on the big jig. Not necessarily a big one, but I think we could get a big one. That was just like a little male. I wonder if there's some females pushed up on this grass. There should be one on this little patch that I'm about to fish right here. It's just, you gotta work it so painfully slow. I threw it up there, I didn't even move it. I started walking down the bank and I felt her just slam it. But right there where I just cast it on this grass patch, there should be one. I ain't about them snakes. It's not a dick, it's a so this is like a little hidden spillway. Oh my god, I see it. Have you seen any bigs? I a three pounder out here, my dad flipped. I feel like if you can get it up in that pipe. Yeah, no, that's where I used to catch them is in the pipe. I'm gonna skip it up in there. When did you catch a five pounder? Bro, I would flip if I caught a five pounder in this little thing. What'd you call like you Dude, fish. I'd flip. If I caught a fish in here, I'd flip. Is there actually fish in here? Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. So guys, we just made it down to this little tiny creek. Look at this. We got some rocks. We got a big culvert pipe. Where we saw that snake, it actually leaks in back here. Bradley said he's caught some fish. Dude, I feel like one just grabbed me right there. I could be wrong though. Bradley said he's caught some fish back in here, but it's so tight. There's like a bunch of freaking grass and stuff everywhere. Got the rocks right here. Super shallow, probably only a couple foot. But we're gonna cast around here for a bit. I don't know if there's gonna be any fish in here, but we're gonna give it a shot. Show them down here, Bradley. See that? Got like a little pipe. It's through, the jungle. It's through the jungle, man, through the jungle. I don't know, how far back does this go? Goes goes pretty far. Nah, it looks good. I like I like the grass on each side. We haven't had any bites yet, but it looks like there's a bed right there and there's a bunch of fry, which is kind of crazy. See the last see the fry hopping? Here, show them that Bradley. Watch, I'm gonna flip right there. Watch this. Look at all the fry popping right there. And when we were over by where the snake was that last time, what we noticed is why I was trying to lift up the sewer in that whole situation was because we actually heard fish jumping inside of that sewer. So that's how these fish get back in, into here. And there's definitely some fish in here. It's just if they're actually gonna bite. And I'm throwing this kind of big jig, so I don't know how that's gonna work in this little tiny creek. Did you throw over here? Yeah. Not that's where you need to be. Oh yeah, there he is, there he is. Dude, that was a freaking hog, homie. That was a freaking hog. How'd he just come off? Dude, he ate it the second I threw in there. Holy cow, that was a big. That was five plus. Oh, I, I stuck him, he ain't biting again. Golly, he was up on that bank too. Maybe there's another one. Dude, that was a big, dude. You saw his head come up. Golly. There's another one. Oh my God. Dude, they're not eating it all the way. Well, that one I think I just threw up on him and he had it right away. And it took me a second to reel up my slack. That was a big though. Dude, look at the boil. That was a giant one too, wasn't it? You stuck him too, didn't you? How did we just lose? Dude, we just lost some big fish, dude. Miss another one? Biggin? <laughs> that was a baby. Little baby. Bro, look, I barely hooked him. Is that your first fish? Yeah, that's a dick. Well, to say, dude, how long you gonna wait on that sucker? Bro, I was waiting to do a little experiment, because that's where they hit it every time. Like, you see how fat he is? That's freaking fatty. How you running? Well, that just sounds bad. Yeah, that don't sound good. I don't think we should be fishing in this, personally. 
But guys, I think we're gonna have to close this one out a little early. I caught a fifty though. We both caught one. Missed freaking giants. Oh. Lightning is just we getting. We will be back. They're biting. Getting a little lethal. We'll be back. All right, boys. Just put in a little boat ramp over here. I'm actually gonna retie this. I felt like a little fray in my line. That's so important. You know, I always talk about it. And I mess up a lot by, you know, trying to be lazy and not retying, and that's so important. So we're gonna start off the day with retying this jig, just so we have no regrets. If one ends up, if something happens, you know, we retied it. So we're just gonna tie the basic uni knot, and this is the hybrid jig. We talked about the new hand tie ball head jigs at the beginning, but this is the bigger jig, and they make the hybrid jig. And, you know, that's usually what I use. So we're gonna use this for a little bit today, and then we're gonna swap up to the ball head jig. Um, and then try to catch some on that. So I'm actually really excited, but let's go ahead and retie this and get in the water and see if we can put together a little pattern to where we can put a big bag together on these jigs. Yeah, I just want to look at this one high when that wind starts blowing back there. Yeah, I got one. Yep. Yeah, decent one. Golly, guys, Fre Fletcher was retying. Dude, this fish is fighting hard. Holy cow, it's not a bad one. Look at that. Freaking not a bad fish. He is like aggressive, dude. Let me tell you. It came off, that's fine. That's crazy, guys. First fish today, Fletcher was rigging up. He's filling with like a big worm today. That was on the hybrid jig. That sucker was walking with it. Let me tell you like the lightest bite. It's so funny because I saw a bunch of beds pushed up on the bank. I threw up there. And once I got it like 15 foot off, I like never felt him hit it. He was just walking with it. That's something to think about, especially in the springtime when those fish are bedding. If you get it over one's bed, most of the time they're gonna grab the bait and they're gonna move it off the bed. I'm pretty sure that was an example of that because he didn't have it really good, you know, and I didn't feel him bite it, but he was running with it. And I think what he was doing is grabbing that bait, moving it off his bed. And as that process went on, you know, I ended up snatching them. That's exciting right there. That wasn't a bad fish, probably about a two and a half pounder, maybe three pounder, really quality one. Um, that sucks we lost them, but I think we're still gonna get on some more. We're just gonna keep covering water. Oh my Lord. I think he's big, he's running at me. Oh yeah. Yeah, pretty good one. Dude, he's running at me so hard. I can't, I don't, I don't think he's almost four pounds. Look at that. Get her on this side. Dude, hammered that jig. I got her right up on that flat edge. Hammered that sucker. And she about three something. Don't jump off, she barely hooks. Oh my gosh, there we go. A solid three pounder. Look at how look how she was barely hooked on that jig. Look at that. That is crazy. I threw right up on that bank. It's a big flat right here that comes off. Hardest hit I've had in a very long time. And that fish just started running with it. She barely had it, but I got her stuck. And that fish is pushing three pounds right there. That's beautiful. Biggest one today so far. Not a giant, but that's a quality bass. Look at the colors on that fish too. It's a little fatty. It's definitely not a post spawner there she goes it's a good little start it's been a while guys it's been like a good second since another bite so that's exciting sometimes they just grab like half of it <laughs> yeah have a hook in it Golly, dude, I didn't even move it. I literally didn't even move that. That's good sign. That's two fish, like, right here. Yeah, right there on that tree. He was on the base of it, dude. I cast it up there. Never even moved it a hair. Finally, he got it right up on that <laughs> base. <laughs> we were literally talking about how we never catch him right there. There we go. Got another little chunk on the hybrid jig. That, that sucker literally hit the water. Just turned on it. A little black and blue stroker crawl hybrid jig. It's a little fatty, still not a big one, but you know what? That's, we're still getting somewhere. That was just crazy though. Right when the bait hit the water, that fish was just off with it. That's funny. I like went to pop it up once he already had it. Little chunker, chunky guy. She gonna jump back in the boat. <laughs> Make 
making it hard on you, ain't it? Should be one right there. Seems to always be. Oh, look at all these gators. Bro, there's a lot. Oh my gosh, there's a lot. One, two, three. Oh! That's a big one. Big one? Yeah. Actually, that's a big one. Oh God, Get, you might need a net on that one, yeah. That's a big one. Dude, that's a really big fish. He's right here, right here. Oh my gosh, go. dude. Yo, that's a freaking giant though. He's probably a five. He might be a five. I, be a five. I thought he was way bigger. He looked so large when we put him in the net. That's a big fish though. Guys, look at that bass right there. Now that is a big one on the hybrid jig. Freaking, that's a toad. I don't know if she's five. I thought she was a lot bigger. Sun was in my eyes. We're gonna cut the scale on. If we can get a weight on this bag, this bad girl right here. What you think? Four and a half like, to five? Yeah, I'm saying four and a half to five. Golly, this is a really good fish. You ready? Yeah. Oh, she's so freaking close. All right, four, eight, nine. Almost a five pounder. Almost a five pounder. Four, eight, nine. We'll take that. I don't know if we can call her five. We can, I guess we can. That's about a five pounder. That's what I thought. I'd probably when I was looking at her for a second, probably four and a half, five pounder. That is a freaking tank. Hybrid J with a stroker crawl, baby. Getting it done. She hammered that sucker. And we're going to get her right back in the water so she can swim another day. That is awesome right there. That's the big fish that we want. That's what the big jig catches you. If you throw it, throw it a good bit, that's what she'll get you. That is a beautiful fish. Oh, Lee. I knew she was tightening down for a minute there. That is awesome. That's what you love to see right there. Big fish on a big jig. You cannot beat that. Let's get right back in the water. See if we can catch one bigger than that one. I don't understand why they're not in this pocket. Real heavy. I just feel like that would hold some of the bigger ones, you know? See that? That's where I'm confused. Oh, I got one. Oh my God. Yeah, he's under the dock. Bro, he's a, a rat? I, I got him out. Golly, he was in that corner too, same way. That was crazy. I thought I had a really big one because he was he had me under that dock. Still a good fish. Had you kind of wrapped on one of those Yeah, fish? dude. And he's freaking fighting too. Got him inside the, the face. A solid almost three pounder. Alright guys, got literally the same way as the last. Look at that. Solid two pounder right there. Pretty markings on that bass. He was in the same thing. It's like they're on the corners of those docks. He's right there in the back. I hooked at him. I thought I had a big one for a minute because he got me wrapped under the dock. I actually kind of worried me. But that's a beautiful fish, not a giant. Got some like little beautiful. parasite or something on him. Yeah, I see that. Might be from Bannon. Had, had like a red sore. It's a pretty fish though. Get her back in the water. Same thing on the corner of the docks. That could be a little thing that we might get on him. You know, it was, it was a while. We were casting and casting and casting, having a bite here and there. And right when we got by these docks, it was like both of them. Boom, boom, right on the back corner. Like right here, there should be one right here as well, next to this tree, right there on that corner. That's crazy, we're gonna keep on going. See if we can catch a big one. Yeah, it was so crazy. It's like the bite was, I'm not gonna say like extremely light, but but you know, I, like I knew he was on there. It's just, it wasn't like that big one. The big one, hand, see that's weird. I've had bites today where I either don't feel them or they hit it one hard time. And that's, that's the springtime for you. And guys, that's something to keep in mind. When, when these fish are bedding, you usually have a bunch of those fish that just pick it up and you barely feel it and they move it off their bed. And then you have it sometimes where they'll just hammer the mess out of it. And you actually got to get them fairly quick because what they're doing is they're taking it off their bed if that's, if that's what happened in that situation. And uh, you usually got to jack them quick. That big one, I believe, like, I believe I got them good with that jig because I felt them hammer it. And I reeled up really quick and he was running with it and I had him right away. If I would have waited, I feel like he would have came off. But that fish right there bit a little different. It was a little soft. Just kind of loaded up on the jig. Let's see if there's one on this back, Doc. Cover your neck with it. 
It'll, uh... Oh my gosh! Yeah! What in the world? Off that dock? He's almost... No, he ain't even... He ain't even that. I thought he was a four-pounder. It's a dang good three-pounder. Look at that jig hanging out of his mouth. Dude, he... The weirdest freaking bite, dude. That was shortly after that last one. I mean, just the we Look how stubby that fish is. I ain't even a three-pounder. Freaking the fattest fish I've ever seen. <laughs> probably, probably, what did you say? A two and a half with how chunky that fish is. That is incredible. The weirdest bite, bro. He, I was almost reeling the jig and he's just had it. Like, like <laughs> never feel him bite it, dude. It's, it's just all of a sudden you have weight and the fish is on there. That is, it's just so weird how the two polar opposites. It's either like you don't feel them or it's that hard thump. I, I'm just so amazed by that. That's a beautiful fish too. They're eating that jig, same thing. Corner of a dock. He was more out though. He was off the dock. He wasn't up underneath it. There might be another bass up there. Pretty guy. Get you back in the water, bud. Little fat guy. I thought he was a big one, dude. He got me all messed up after that big fish. Got me thinking all these are freaking giants. Oh, there's a fat guy though. I like that. There she goes. And guys, I know I talked about it before, but just the standard. See, this is a black and blue. Just got a black and blue stroker curl. And uh, on days that are more, you know, the bass are a little more finicky. Today, they seem to be biting decent. Um, I mean, it, it has taken us a while to get the bites, but now they're starting to come fairly quick. And the days that the bass are a little bit more finicky, I like using the prawn. You know, it doesn't have those little pinchers on the end that put off a lot of vibration. And uh, But on the days like today where they seem to be eating it quite decent, I like that stroker curl. He was right on the back of this dock right here. He was running out from it, though. He wasn't, like, all the way up on it. So there might be another fish here. He ate it, like, out here. It was some weird stuff. But I never felt him bite. He was just <laughs> walking with it. So weird. The water is really clear here. Maybe that's why we're clear, getting the bite. Yeah. It's clearer here than yeah. it is back there. They've been tearing up everything. Especially where they put that dock in. So that was some it. fry just popped right there. Might be another one on. There's another one on the back of this dock, though. <laughs> I mean, that's three fish on freaking docks out of the six that we fished. Yep. What in the fooly mother of pearl, dude? That was the hardest hit. He hit it and drug it all the way out from the dock in two seconds. He's on bed there. He thumped it? Dude. So weird, dude, how they're doing this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Gosh, I was on the dock. Hammered it, dude. Oh, my gosh. God, Fletcher, the way that they're hitting this thing is just incredible. It's like they're eating, it's, just, it's one or the other, dude. It's the weird. Go. You got him? Is got he big? Him. Oh, no, he ain't big. I mean, I could have had the female bite, though. There you go. Holy That's cow. Oh. Not a bad one. He choke that thing. Camera just died, but we got a, we got a pretty decent one on light bite. It's probably the second biggest today. Freaking punching that jig, man. Let me tell you about a fight. Dang, jump in the boat. Oh, come on, baby. Woo. Look at that. <laughs> They're so stubby. Look at that hybrid jig in the back of his throat. Such a light bite. Crazy, man. Crazy. So much fun right there on that hybrid jig. Let's get it. That's a solid one, two and a half. That thick body on her. I like that. I like it a lot. These, these girls are fighting good today, too. There she goes. Let's get right back in there. Right up on there and drag this worm right to the edge. I think there'd be one on there. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, sir. I like yes, that. Sir. Yes. That was awesome. I planned it. That was so cool. Just Really soft bite. See the bed? Oh yeah. Oh my god. Jeez, dude. Annihilated. Annihilate. Dude, the way that they're hitting it. Oh my god, that's a big one. That might be a four pounder. She really that dude, that might be a four pounder. Maybe. She's very close if she ain't. Oh yes. <laughs> It's a three number. Dude, look at her pissing, dude. Look at that. 
<laughs> Dude, I've been something about that bite today. Do you know what I'm talking about, Ooh, bro? My. Flapping it, bro. I ain't a four pounder, but it has a frame of a four pounder only if it was fatter. Freaking gosh, man. You're pissing all over the place. Beautiful one, though. Solid three number. But dude, just hammer that sucker, bro. I just never in my life just seen a fish to where they just want to just. I hope that in the video you can see my rod because I feel like my rod almost comes out of my hand every time a fish does that. It's crazy, but you have to hook set so quick or you'll lose that fish. But she was right, right where she should have been. You can see there's some beds right there by that little cypress tree. Some bait popping. Throw it in, in that right there. Some crazy stuff right there. Let's see if there's another one. You see if she'll hit it the same way freaking annihilating it right here we're gonna do one cast see if we can get it on the big camera come on it's just the fish are so here and there like there's so many beds but you'll, you'll literally fish for like 20 minutes and then boom and then it's just weird it's like here and there they're not all locked on we're gonna keep on casting